begin in three, two, one, go! Autonomous get started. We have eight cubes up for grabs on the playing field floor in front of the communities. Teams are going to try to get those back to the safety of their communities. We do have 35-38 for the Red Alliance docked and engaged. That's 12 points over on blue. The Midnight Inventors are docked. That's 10 points coming out of Autonomous. So advantage red, 48-38. to 38. Drivers now in control. The Beak Squad very effective, moving across open field, back to their community, powering up their grid. A quick two links already on the board for the Blue Alli Red Alliance, rather. One game piece in their co-op grid. We can safely assume, though, those co-op grids will get mighty full during this match. Teams simply will end up placing those game pieces there after filling up their outer grids or in the process of filling up their grids. We do have two entangled robots, unfortunately, for the Red Alliance. A nudge from Beak Squad might have tried to loosen them, but we do see Robo Jackets and Prepatec unfortunately stuck together with their manipulators. Prepatec trying to get their arm unattached from Robo Jackets. They are just a small piece currently connecting those two robots. They might be able to recover. Plenty of time remaining. Blue Alliance, though, now has pulled ahead. They have two links of their own. Midnight Inventors has been doing what we've seen them do all day long. They pick up a cube, this one easy target from the playing field floor. They just barely cross into their community. Now they fully move on in. It looks like they're going to have a specific target for that cube. They do place it onto the playing field floor where a cube will be worth two points. Still entangled, unfortunately, for the Red Alliance, but Beak Squad is able to move around their teammates and is still scoring pretty effectively. Three links on the board for the Red Alliance, but they have fallen further behind with 30 seconds remaining. The Blue Alliance leads 117 to 91. Because the Red Alliance is still down two robots, that co-op bonus is not in effect. So if the Blue Alliance does want a ranking point, they're going to need one more link. But we do see the Beak Squad scoring some game pieces. That co-op now in effect for both alliances. So the five links will be enough for the Blue Alliance. Beak Squad making their way back toward their community. It does look like Prepatech has broken free and has returned as well. Three Blue Alliance robots docked and engaged on the charge station for 30 po total points for the Blue Alliance. Final scores coming on up. Let's check out the results. The winner of the match is the Blue Alliance. 154 to 105. The Blue Alliance is going to walk away with four ranking points. Those five links were enough, so 4RP raises all three of those robots in the IRI rankings.